Hi, my name's Adam. I'm from Fresh Filter, and this is Bill, my American representative. How do you uh, do? Here to talk about Fresh Filters with you guys today, and uh, explain a little bit about this uh, this filter and why they are so good. We actually use a tuned frequency vibration table to pack these filters. Our engineers have actually worked out the exact frequency to vibrate pack these things at to make sure that we get an absolute, completely full packed bed. We then use an inch piece of foam which is compressed down to less than a quarter of an inch to make sure if there's any movement after packaging that that space is taken up by the foam. Uh, generally, if you pop the top of one of these things, you'll find it absolutely damn packed. We have pulled some of our competitors to pieces uh, in the recent uh, months and found uh, their beds nearly verging on the lip. That's a very bad thing. Air will try and passage through the least path of resistance and certainly that is the foam. So if you don't pack these things properly, uh, you will get failure. We also have quality control at the factory. We know exactly who made it, when and where and how. Each person is personally responsible for their part in manufacturing these filters. What about dust? Aren't these dusty filters? We actually triple sieve our carbon. It's sieved twice before it leaves um, Australia. And when it comes to our factory, it's then again de-dusted and sieved. We're left with a very consistent 48, four slash eight inch grade carbon. Exactly the same every time. De-dusted, clean, and uh, has exactly the same pressure loss every single time, so we can guarantee they're gonna flow the same, work the same, operate the same, and last the same every single time. So here we have the equivalent filters. This is a pelletized carbon filter flowing a maximum of 850 CFM. This is the equivalent fresh filter flowing an average of 750 CFM. Okay, so I'm going to put this 750 average CFM fresh filter on the scales. 25 and a half pounds. Now I'm going to put this maximum 850 CFM sized filter on the scales. 106 pounds. The, the, the most amazing thing about the filter that always stands out is how long they last. I mean, you've got wet weather use and you've got dry hot weather use. That's correct. Like any, any filter, humidity will play a part in the length of the filter life. So will anything actually, including load, uh, pollution. If you're in a dirty city with high pollution, you would expect a filter in a clean city and a dry city to last you know, 50% longer than you would a filter to, in a dirty city, in a wet city, it would last probably 50% shorter. So what we try and do is we average out our filter to last around about two years. You will expect more like a three year lifespan in a very, very hot, dry climate, maybe as short as 18 months in a very, very wet, very polluted climate. But on average, you're gonna get around the two, two and a half year lifespan out of a fresh filter. Pre-filters will actually Keep the dust from clogging the bed of the carbon filter. That's what these are for. Large dust particles will actually clog all the passages between the carbon and they'll actually cause a lot of pressure and slow the, the airflow down uh, and cause uh, your room to heat up. So it's essential that you do apply these things. These are machine washable. We use a very, very uh, good quality um, polyester dacker on here um, that'll last and are machine washable and we do recommend that you wash these at least every three months. Generally when they get dirty, that's a fair giveaway that you do need to wash these things. Oh man. You know, you do use the elastic bands, you know, just put them over the metal part so it's not covering up good carbon. We've got the largest selection of filters available. And, uh, and how large do the filters go? Uh, and how big are those applications? Okay, well we start at a 150 CFM small filter, uh, generally used in Europe and a lot of the colder climates. We go right up to a 4000 CFM filter. Our 4000 CFM filter 
uh, is generally smaller than the largest comparative filter on the market, which peaks out at about 2,500 CFM. I think ours weighs in at about 85 pounds, and theirs weighs in at somewhere around 150. 3,800 CFM for 126 pounds. There we go. That's massive. What size fans do you usually recommend for a room? How do you recommend fan size to the filters? So, so basically you would use, for every 1,000 watts, you'd use 150 to 200 CFM. Mm -hmm. You would then match your fan to your wattage, and then you would match your filter to your fan. This is the last piece of equipment you match. So always match your fan to your lighting, 200 CFM, 1,000 watts. For example, you need 400 CFM. Uh, 2,000 watts needs 400 CFM. That's a 400 CFM fan, probably 450, and then you'd go and put a 450 CFM filter on a 450 CFM fan. Simple as that. And, by the way, that calculator is available at freshfilter.com.